The Lord be with you. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Gerizines. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs came with an unclean spirit before him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? And he replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from that territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine. Let us enter them. And he let them. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about 2,000 rushed down a steep bank into the sea where they were drowned. The swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside, and people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there clothed and in his right mind, and they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But Jesus would not permit him, but told him instead, go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Please be seated. My name is Father Roger Boucher. I, uh, I think this is the first time, maybe the second that I say Mass for you, but the first time in St. Marie's. So I am the uh, chaplain up at Northeast Catholic College, where Mr. Canelli uh, uh, worked, and uh, also Mr. Gillis. I live in a wilderness much like the gospel today, but there are no evil people around. I live on top of a mountain where there is no electricity, the driveway is a half a mile long, Mr. Canali and Mr. Gillis have been there too. But just a couple of uh, ideas from the gospel. This is one of the strangest gospels that we have to begin the week. One of the a great incident about curing. All of us we know are marked by the sign of faith. And this is what this gospel is about. It tells us that there is evil in the world. So often people are telling us that everything is fine and there is no bad, only good. But I think you and I know better. In this gospel, we have actually evil coming up to Jesus. This is a symbolic gospel, right? And telling Jesus, we have our territory here. Do not come into this gang-controlled area. 
Jesus, however, doesn't even pay attention to this. He walks right in, and he's going to do something good because he represents the creator of the world. And he's going to tell this demoniac, you cannot keep creating yourself into an evil thing. You must submit to me. And eventually this is what happens because that evil demoniac commits sacrilege, basically. And the punishment for sacrilege in Jewish times was to be thrown off a cliff into the sea. This is what happens to the pigs, right, that are occupied. The evil one thought he would be safe and kept in that area if he occupied the pigs. But Jesus actually plays a trick on him. They go into the pigs, and the pigs then go into the sea. In other words, the area has been cleansed. It's not even a Jewish area, and Jesus is a Jew. And so he is called by God the Father to go out to everyone in the world because the Creator has marked all of us for salvation and an eternal home in heaven. And this is the brightness that Christianity brings to the world. Even in our own time, we have examples of evil going on in the world. You probably don't follow politics very much, but the adults in your life know that we even have a governor uh, down in the mid-states who is uh, supporting the killing of newborn children, <laughs> right? This is something we have never seen in America before. The church is going to speak up about this. It has an obligation to. And the truth about what life is, is crucial because God wishes to save everyone, especially the little ones. God's movement then is to bring everyone innocent into his own home. And that home is the whole world. And Jesus is the one who walks among us and makes everything good. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Regina Jenny, Letare, Alleluia, Quia, Quem, Menuisti, Portare, Alleluia, Resurrexit, Sicut, Dixit, Alleluia.